Guys, I am in Cairo, Egypt. Welcome to this podcast. I have not done podcasting in a while. I've taken a break from it, to be honest with you. But I am back with some important podcasts that I really honestly want to do. So I'm very happy to introduce you to content creator Amir Garbawi. Can we have a round of applause? Guys, clap. Studio, clap, clap. Oi, clap, clap. Yes, yes. Thank you. Energy, energy. Yes, Habibi. Mabrook, Mabrook. Mabrook, Mabrook. How are you, Habibi? I'm good. How are you, bro? I'm good. I'm good. Amir Garbawi is a content creator influencer whose followers have gained basically suffering and surviving in the genocide that is going on in Gaza right now in Palestine, where they say roughly 50,000 people have passed away, but the estimated record are a lot more deaths from what we've seen. And the videos, it's insane. So much. It's mentally insane what we've seen. So many children die. It's honestly disgusting. So for me to speak to you today, it is an honor. Thank you, Shukran Habibi. Thank you for you, brother. And this is my first podcast where my guest, his first language is not English. <laughs> his first language is Arabic. So I'm bad in English. <laughs> <laughs> Your English is okay. So we're going to try to get through this and do it in English because it's important so that other people who don't speak Arabic can try to understand you are a survivor um, that's why you, that's why we are here yes yeah. that's why you are here in egypt cairo thank you for this no, this is your brand yes my brand la saltawi la la saltawi la saltawi yeah and where do you make this here, you make it here. yeah but the the idea from gaza from gaza yeah. yes and everything about gaza of this brand it's super nice. Thank you very much. Thank Shukran. you, Habibi. The website for this will be in the bio below. And uh, yeah, let's get into this. Are you nervous? No, I'm relaxed. We've got questions written down and we're going to go through them one by one. Take your time because it is obviously a lot to discuss. But this is what I think is important for people to know and see that so many people like you have survived. But there are so many people who have died. Unfortunately, it's disgusting. Since the genocide began, how are you doing mentally? Mm, I will say uh, mentally I'm good. But my mind every day thinking about uh, what's happening in Gaza. And I'm afraid for, from my, for my family to death or uh, dying. And my friend, that's really important thing to, to thinking about it. Every day uh, there is uh, many people in Gaza dying and and the situation there is very difficult and every every time and every moment is bombing the occupation bombing Gaza that's uh, that's not good and uh, difficult for your mind every day you think about like this no rest no no time to think uh, another uh, another uh, uh, something. Just you thinking every time in Gaza and uh, in your family and your friends. That's really difficult. My question to you is: So much has happened in these six eight months, mm -hmm. but where are your parents? Are they with you, or are they in Palestine? Uh, my uh, parents and my family all in Gaza now, in Deir el Balah, in Deir el -Balah area. Uh, maybe many people uh, hear uh, Deir el Balah in Gaza, but now Deir el Balah is a dangerous area. Why? Because I don't know. The occupation is killing everyone. Is killing everyone in Gaza. No, uh, no area in Gaza uh, save uh, save area uh, there. Uh, and my family is in Deraba now. This uh, is just uh, is uh, a dangerous area, and uh, and no uh, no 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 place to to go save. No no safe place the, in Gaza. I'm really afraid to lose anything, uh, anyone from uh, for my, from my family, and it's really hard. But do you speak to your family? Yes, I speak uh, maybe after uh, two days, and there is a uh, situation there. Uh, no internet; uh, it's hard to to open. Uh, it's very difficult. 
uh, two days, every two days, uh, we can talk and uh, the Wi-Fi is not good and just I uh, speak with him, how are you and how is uh, the situation there and just like this and the calls cut, no internet there. It's it's crazy. You go, you're living in a house, mm -hmm. and then you go from a house into a tent. into a tent. Like, how do you live? How do you un understand? How do you survive? There, like, it's it's, it's truly crazy. هذا طالع من خيمة أهلي على خيمة أصحاب اللي هو أحمد وبشار والشباب بيستنونا في الخيمة فخليكم معنا أجواء هننسى أننا نازحين أصلا يا أمال عايشة أمام رعاشة غصب والله يعني إحنا جينا على الجامل مرس رعاشة السلام عليكم أستاذ فنكا لا وين معلم عبيبي How many times did you move and how difficult was this uh, i joke it uh, more than five uh, places uh, more than five times yeah, five, five times wow uh, the one times uh, to my sister uh, house and uh, the she is uh, was tired and go to to my sister house and after this to my uncle house after Ankel House to Ansirat area, and that's uh, north, uh, south uh, Gaza. Uh, the occupation he post and south Gaza is a uh, safe area, uh, and north Gaza uh, it's dangerous area. You can't displace to uh, south area, uh, south uh, Gaza. That's safe area, and we go to south uh, Gaza. In Nusayrat uh, camp, and after this, uh, he was bombing the occupation and moved to Khan Yunis, Mawasi Khan Yunis. Uh, it's very, it's very hard to see your parents intent and uh, your family intent. That's really hard to see uh, to see them. And after Khan Yunis to Deir el Balah, after Deir el Balah, Rafa. When I was in Rafah, uh, I stay in Rafah two months, and after uh, two months, I get out of Gaza. You leave Gaza alone? Uh, no, with my brother. Just you and your Just brother? Just me and my brother. Just you and your brother, and then your mom and your dad, and your sister and your other brother are in Gaza. They, they decided, they said to you, you and your brother leave, we stay. Uh, in Gaza, I, I have uh, some money. From people like who help you go find me, yeah, and uh, we have money just for me and my brother for uh, and uh, send it to Egypt and uh, like uh, okay, we'll continue, yeah, take your time, there's no rush uh, so we we just play uh not this I feel like the rush it's okay, don't worry. Breathe. So my family g uh, sent me, me and the brother, to continue my life, and uh, my dad and my mom say to me, go to to Egypt and don't worry of the of, uh, of me and uh, for us. <laughs> <laughs> your brothers and sisters and and us just go there is many people you want to hear your uh, story and this place go and walking your your dream like this just go and keep your dream and keep your life don't worry about uh, us we are safe, don't worry. But now it's no one's safe. So many people are dying. And you see, we see online every day videos, Instagram, Twitter, 
everywhere children women parents are dying mm -hmm. and so you must be very worried your parents are there you don't know what could take place it's uh, truly insane <sighs> wow it's really crazy did you lose anyone close to you mm, yes i lost five people five people yes of my my uh, fr and my friends but i live one person is my best friend, is my cousins, Ayman. Uh, we start the filmmaker with him, and he learned me how to ask the camera and how to take a picture and how you can make a film with them. And uh, when I'm leave Gaza, my family called me and say. Your cousin Ayman is, is dead. Is dead. How did you react? It's really, really, it's, feel, it's feeling uh, hard to 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 hear this uh, news. How like my best friend every day we are together and uh, walking, uh, talking together, and we t uh, walking in Gaza every day and see what's. What's the Gaza so beautiful, so beautiful really when you walk uh, with the best friend and talk in Gaza and talk in your dream and his dream. I want be a filmmaker, uh, a hype filmmaker and I will uh, f uh, make uh, a more uh, films in the world and just uh, uh, hear uh, news. Uh, Ayman is dead. Where is the dreams? Where is everything is uh, disappeared? Wow. To lose your best friend yes. in a genocide in this occupation is one of the worst feelings. And he teach you so much. How, do you know how he was killed? Was was he bombed? He he uh, he was in uh, uh, Hamad in Khan Yunis Hamad city, and uh, uh, was uh, it was a uh, videographer to dis uh, destroyed it homes in uh, in Hamad city. He was he was showing. Yeah, was showing the world. What was happening? Filming a video for uh, homes destroyed it for uh, from occupation. And uh, the airplane send uh, the plane uh, send the Bombay for him and uh, and the brother he and the <gasps> him and his brother yes him and the brothers wow it's crazy mm. what was your what was your biggest worry lose more uh, people people and lose my family lose my friends. We have a dream. We will uh, take it one day. Inshallah. Inshallah. I don't want to lose uh, us dreams. We will uh, live the life. We are so young. Uh, we will complete this life and dreams. And so what is beautiful life uh, uh, in, uh, in out Gaza? Not like uh, just uh, destroyed it and bombing and displaced it and we are so young uh, for this. We want to show the life. Is if there's anything you want to say that is in your heart about what is happening, mm -hmm. what do you think of? If there's something that you want to say, anything. I won't say uh, just stop this uh, this occupation. Stop this uh, uh, every day uh, pumping and uh, dying uh, people there. Just stop it. Stop it. We are human. We have feeling. We want live life. Just that's it. You have a talent, something called parkour. Yeah. 
Can you explain to me what is parkour and how you begin doing this? Because I see your videos. Mm -hmm. This is how you caught my attention and I, and I messaged you on Instagram because I see you in the occupation, jumping around in places. What is parkour and why do you do it? Okay. Uh, the first parkour is my life, really. I love it. I love it so much. Uh, I practice uh, the parkour from 20, 20, 20 years, 20 years, 20, 12, 12, <laughs> 12 years. <laughs> What's your age? Uh, 22. 22, mm. super young. Mm. 12 years ago and uh, see my brother, uh, uh, my older brother, see Mahmoud, see him to practicing the parkour and I see him oh how can you fly he's f f he's uh, really flying in parkour and flip uh, I ask him I want to go to train he he say yeah you can come and go to to, to the sea not uh, no no gym there and no club for parkour the just the sea and uh, we can practice there because uh, they save more than uh, a street or uh, like this we go the, there and uh, practice more practice more uh, all uh, all of uh, 12 years ago and uh, we now professional in this uh, sport and you were born in gaza Yes, I'm born in Gaza. And for people who don't understand watching this, in Gaza, you cannot leave. It's like a cage, a wall. Uh, and everywhere, the, uh, the border, uh, everywhere. You, you can't get out. Wow. You can't get out. Just leaving Gaza. And uh, no clubs, no... Nothing. No gyms, like uh, for this sport. It's really hard, brother. In the world, you now see protest mm. everywhere. People are saying free Palestine, free Palestine. What is your response to this? I really love, uh, love these people and love when I see these people with, uh, with, uh, with us. Uh, I think this uh, free people in the world. Because uh, anyone free in the world, we don't uh, stop and talk uh, about Palestine. That's a question, surprise question. Surprise question. And you did good. It was a surprise okay, question. Good. Okay. You did good. <laughs> you want to do parkour professional. Mm -hmm. You want to train parkour. What is the feeling when you do parkour in Gaza now? With so much rubble, mm -hmm. destroyed homes, and you do parkour, is it something that makes you feel free? It's really you, you, you feeling I'm free. I'm nobody can stop me. I'm here in my country, in my city. I'm playing parkour in the rubble of city, but I love this. I love uh, this city. I don't want uh, more. I just practice this parkour in rubble and uh, and uh, homes destroyed it. I really love this and see the world. What uh, what you doing in Gaza? No, you you can't live there, but we can live there. You you understand me? Mm, say it again. You can't leave anyone in the world. You can't live in he can live in Gaza. But we can live in Gaza because he's, he's, she's my country, she's my, she's my land. I can't live there. I remember I see a, um, a video of you and you were sick. What did you have? Was it a flu? Was it fever, temperature? How you recover from this? Because you were sick yeah. in a tent. How how do you recover from from this stuff? Uh, yes, I was sick in uh, tent. Uh, 
Many, many diseases. Uh, many diseases. Many diseases. Yes. Diseases. Uh, many diseases spread. I was uh, infected uh, of one of them, and to this day, uh, I was uh, not recovered for uh, for it. Oh wow. Mm. But we can finish now. Okay, finish. Uh, <laughs> Done. Done, brother. You finished. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Oh, thank Shukran you for Habibi. coming. <laughs> I came all the way from London yes, to Cairo. You come f from London yes. to hear to hear your story. Yeah. No, I think it's incredible, and you are a survivor. And I hope the occupation ends. I agree with you. Of course, I do. It's disgusting. So many children are dying every single day. It's disgusting. But it's free Palestine. free Palestine, free free Palestine all day, every day. Thank you so much no, for thank coming. You. you did really well. No, thank you. This for was coming. good. This was good, Habibi. Your English was. So I, I want uh, to sorry of a few because uh, I was a lot. Uh, I make a lot mistakes. Thank you for watching. Ah, oh, that's so nice. Yes. Good. Thanks, we thank you for this. No, no. Very nice. I like it. All good. All good. We have Ahmed here available. Amir's brother. Yeah. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to Egypt. Thank you, Habibi. Shukran. I like the your shirt, Grand Theft Palestine. Yeah. I like it. It's I like nice. it. That's this one. This one. Shirt. La Salta. Yeah. La Saltawi is very nice. Oh. Very nice. Love I love it. I like this color. It's, it's, I like the color. Yeah. I have questions for you now. Describe to me your hardest moments that you have experienced during this genocide. The suffering and difficult moments I went through. There is no dictionary or words to express them. How are you doing mentally? How are you dealing with your trauma? Honestly. I am unable de to define my mental state now because if I, if I am here now, my family is still leaving this war. As for the trauma, I am still trying to recover from it every day. But unfortunately, every day a new massacre appears so the real recovery from this trauma is when this war ends is there anything you want to say to the world anything that comes to your mind anything you want to say yeah my message to the world and especially to every free person is to stand in solidarity with the palestinian people and with every free person who wants to have an independent state. Free Palestine. Free, free Palestine. Palestine. Free Palestine. Yeah. I stand with Palestine. I always will. Free Palestine. Yeah. Done. Nice. Yeah. How was that? That was good. Good English. Yeah. That was good. <laughs> I just want to thank you guys for listening to this podcast with both Amir and Ahmed, both people who have survived the genocide whilst many have passed away i think these podcasts these conversations are interesting stuff that i am just more engaged in doing in all honesty and i hope you guys watch this i hope you guys share this i hope you guys comment down below check out their social media profiles in the bio below as well to do a podcast with people who don't speak english is also very difficult so i commend them to come here and try speak english because it's never going to be enough for them to describe their pain and what they're going through so thank you for them to come and also thank you for every single one of you who have watched this podcast it's not going to gain as much as views as everything else we know how this world works but i think that we should vocalize people's stories especially those who are trying to resist occupation and colonization that is happening right in front of our eyes nearly three hundred thousand people have been killed limbs of children chopped off is all i see every single day and the world does nothing it is disgusting so if you can use your voice or your platform 
you should for organizations movements that are good in this world at the very least thank you and thank you for those who watched do subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you guys soon